transport truck and kind of rush around the side road. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another afternoon or evening, whatever the case may be for you, of Squad Ops. This is Operation Nightmare. I'm joined today by Shadow Ritual, and then I, of course, I am, of course, M. Tedish, your commentators for the evening on this uh, first op of the day. How's it going here, uh, Shadowed? Uh, it's going pretty well. It's gonna be my first time commentating an op, and I'm pretty excited. This should be uh should be a lot of fun. This is my first op ever in Squad Ops. Now this is my first op. Oh really? So yeah. Nightmare it's was just, your first op. Happened. Yes, it That's was cool. back way back in like, last November. That was my first op I ever participated in. Pretty you probably remember exactly where you died. Oh, I do. I, do. I even remember yeah. who my first squad lead was. Um, we'll he yelled at me, but no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, uh, we talked about it a little bit. The name, at least. Let's go over exactly what this op is going to entail here. So the U.S. versus Insurgents. Uh, it's kind of a search and destroy. Pulling up the overlay here. So the assets, uh, we get U.S. get two AR, one GL, one medic per squad, and then two Humvees. And actually, I think they're changing the, the Humvees are switched to a Crow's, um, the Crow's Striker. And then the Insurgents get two AR, two Lat, one Scout, one Medic, and a bunch of uh, dish gun placements. And they can also scrounge as many vehicles as they can. Um, so the second page here is going to show you the uh, overlay of exactly what the objectives are. So we've kind of got this line running down the Charlie Delta line that's... Um, how to describe this? There's two cache locations that are spawned. This is an insurgency layer. Insurgents get to pick one of those two cache locations as long as it's on the west side, and then they are defending that, right? There is one high value target, the insurgent commander, who's going to be wielding the G3, which is that very distinctive audio signature. Um, and it's the US's job to hunt that cache down, figure out where it is, kill the HVT, destroy the cache, and then retreat to the expo location which uh, was marked on that map. Where was that, like, Delta Delta 4? Down in this area yeah. right here. Yeah. So it looks like, from our vantage point, we have known this, of course the U.S. don't, that uh, the insurgents have chosen their cash spawn in Bravo 5. So it's down in that little valley there. Um, pretty defensible. They can run Lodgy as long as they can, which is pretty close just to their north, so they should be able to run quite a few lodges once they get themselves a lodgy truck um, and get a bunch of defenses up. So we'll see how it goes. I know you're you're a common commander on this on ops. How would you run this one if you were uh, defending this for the uh, insurgents? Um, I definitely you're gonna have some guys up on this uh the, the mountain range to the south. I think some they they get a scout. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna definitely need some uh, binoculars looking east along the south part of this uh, hill, like this, especially the, these rocks, the rocks in the uh, south, like in the B5 area. You can definitely have some scouts over there to watch, to uh, to watch east, and then if you have some scouts on north, I, the the key to this op is is really dis dispersion, in my opinion. Like you need to keep them away from that commander. You need to get keep that commander well defended and far away from any kind of fighting. So one, he can keep the uh, the cohesion of of the platoon by being up and being able to tell everybody what they need what they need to do and uh, just keep him alive since he's like he's the objective. You know, kill kill him or kill the uh, or kill the uh, fob. Uh, so I I'm a big believer in just keep your guys up and keep them dispersed. But uh, we'll definitely see how uh, I believe Sightless is the uh, commander for the uh, insurgents right now. We'll definitely see how he likes to play this. He wants he, like how he wants to play this. Out. Yeah, defense can be so variable depending on the commander. All right, looks like the U.S. are gathering up for their command brief here, or their uh, platoon brief. <laughs> see if you can listen in on that. Get an idea of what they are going to do. Ovaries, yes. We need a what? little chat mod so, so they can hear us when we scream pew pew. Perfect. Now everyone's here. Thing. All right, um, briefing is as follows. We have four squads, uh, possible enemy cache locations marked on your HUD. You can see there's two. Got one in like Charlie 3, one in like Bravo 5. Uh, the way we're going to roll this out is we're going to assume they're in the one in the city. So you want to move first squad, the hill. Um, a transport truck, they're going to kind of rush around with that, dismount here, move into positions right here near the INS resupply. 
Take the striker. Move it over to uh, here, squad four. Have some dismounted infantry there to help them. Then we're going to have squad three go and move to this part of the striker on foot from main at live. And squad two is going to move to this part of the hill. They're all going to be looking down on the mesh. Uh, yeah, so that's more or less it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Any any questions? Oh, also, turn your gamma down to 3.2 if you have it higher. 2.2. 2.2. That's two. definitely two. not true, Evan. You are 100% not correct. Um, 2.2. I will go look in the doc right now. Two it's point... 3.2. If no, you were told 2.2, it's 2.2. It's 2.2. You, two two two. 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 It's two <laughs> point two. Tiny, you try putting it above three, and you can do it, you're a magician. Get roasted, buddy. So what do I get for being right? You get nothing. I'm gonna actually execute you in front of a tribunal later. Anyways, I um... Evan takes over command. Don't put your gamut high. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. What, what are your questions? <laughs> did you say what what one was going to do? Cause I Am I getting that. banned? Yeah, one... One is going up here on the, the HMG mark. Two... Right. Here on the rocket mark. Three is going here on the mortar mark, I guess. Four is going with their striker. This is you all tell clear. Them where we're uh, yeah, so what do we if do everyone after? dies, if all your leadership's done, go there to the green fob marker. But if, if that happens, like, it's probably so foobar that most That's of you are not gonna live, point. anyways. Once we take a fob or the HVT down. Yeah, we go back there. But honestly, like, if they, if we take out the HVT and not all of them are dead, they did something wrong. If we don't take out the HVT and all our leadership is dead, we did something wrong. So I don't anticipate either of those happening. I anticipate it being a bloody fight to the death trying to get rid of this HVT. All right, um, I got one question. All right, so I didn't hear sure. any briefing at all uh, when I was getting in. I got in late, all that. Can you give me a 30 second tutorial on what the hell we're doing? Fucking um, <laughs> no. As a squad leader, no, your your squad lead is gonna fill you in on that. We don't we don't have we have 45 minutes until this map rolls, You're so we don't special. have time unfortunately for that. Just just have your squad lead tell it to you in fucking squad chat. Um, what do you mean like you? Is this your first event? Like how did you? No, I was just super late running in squad. here. They threw me in, and then I never yeah, heard squad, squad, lead. squad lead knows what they're doing. Yeah. All right, All they'll, right. they'll help you out. All right, hey, uh, any other did questions? You say that, Sorry for being did a dumbass. Did you say that there's multiple spawn points for the cache? Because we only go in uh, one. You can see them on the map. There is... Yeah, I know, I know. So Orange X. spawns on the other one? Well, if it's on the other one, then we'll move... We're assuming it's in the city. If it's not in the city, you'll get updated orders after that. Okay? But we're assuming okay. it's in the city. If it's not in the city, we will, we will change... The plan will change a little bit, but you will find out when that happens. If that happens. I don't want to overload you with two plans and then have... Yeah, all right. Um, so, I'm right. ready? No questions? Yeah. questions? No more questions? Uh, yeah, I can. No. Okay, readying us up. Give no more questions. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's the loose US plan. Looks like they're just going to go with a basic line uh, down in the Delta file and uh, push west to the city, assuming that that uh, fob is... They're going to encounter resistance in the main city. Of course, they're wrong, but they don't know that. So we'll see how it goes. Might be a nice slow start. Get everyone positioned before we start banging away. We'll see how the insurgents push out. Can we? Could we glean anything over there? I know we don't have their audio because we're on the U.S. team, but uh... um, the way they're positioning, it looks like they're gonna hold these two buildings on either side of the uh, the road, north and south, north and south of the cache. And it looks like there's there's a squad positions on the east. Squad positioned on the east, and it looks like they're gonna push out, and then they've got a couple guys who look like they're gonna just scratch vehicles. Really don't know what these guys in the middle of the road are doing. Obviously, we don't have like audio on them, but uh, they're uh, they're they're really prep for a, a tight, nice and tight defense. Tight we'll see, defense. See okay. How, yeah. We'll see how that goes. For anyone just joining us, I don't know if we mentioned this originally, but uh, this is a one life event scenario event. So you die once, you're out. The medics can heal you, but they cannot pick you up. If you're familiar with the Vanilla squad gameplay, there is no reviving of people when they're down. When you're down, you're out, and you, you can't talk, you can't communicate, you gotta just watch from above, which can sometimes be more fun than playing, because you actually get to see exactly what's going on, see just how close people come to dying. Uh, sometimes people, you know, brush up against each other without even knowing that the other guy's in the same field. So, uh, 
Sure yeah, check us out for more information. Squadops.gg. Um, see, see all of our events on the calendar. Get some basic training in and join us on the next event, uh, which events are on Wednesdays and Saturdays in the evening, depending on your time. And wow, we're live. They're breaking it out here. All right, so we got two squad. Oh. So what, yeah, what are the uh, insurgents doing over there? Uh, insurgents are breaking. It looks like they're going to hold three different compounds. You've got a full squad moving, or two full squads moving north, looking to uh, scrounge vehicles, it looks like. And uh, yeah, it looks like they're just getting set up in their their areas. Definitely, they're going to need to get that logi truck. They're going to need to get the logi truck just north of the uh, the point here at the insurgent resupply and get some uh, some ammo or some uh, supply points to start making these points a little more defensible. Most probably going to just focus on barbed wire and sandbags. That's really, really what's going to hold these objectives, is just keeping them off, off the walls. But uh, we'll, well see they if can... they opt for any HMGs. I think they yeah, because they can build four HMGs, and then whatever vehicles they can scrounge, which are plentiful. Uh, what was that? Two SPGs out in the west there, and multiple machine gun trucks, a couple uh, bikes if they want them. Oh, yeah. uh, and they're going to use some... those, uh, those SPG trucks are going to be key for this defense because yeah. they've got to deal with that striker. That striker with its optics can be so powerful in this. See if we... XF driving the striker getting into position here. Striker takes four. It's, it's one, the most uh, defense, has the highest defense of any uh, of the, uh, the vehicles right now that they've made. Takes four RPG shots to uh, take it out, and like it, it can take it can take a beating. If, yeah. if there are no lats to deal with it, it's uh, it's it can be a monster. Very high defense, very high mobility. Can carry a full squad plus some. Um, it's got that 50 cal on it with with the uh, optics. Extremely powerful, but um, take it into city, it's gonna uh, gonna get eaten up. So oh, yeah, that's I know sure. the U.S. plan on this one is to plunk it up on the hill is what i think i heard them say and just use it for cover fire which is a a great plan use it for its strengths that, that crow system weaknesses. at range is uh that can definitely do some damage especially on this map where it's uh, it's a lot harder to uh, to spot it without the uh, the tracers um without having to just follow tracers back in okay good looks like the insurgents are, are Pretty spread out. Like they're more spread out than I expected. It looks like the the group that went to pick up the uh, the logi truck left uh, five six right, guys here. Yeah, left team seven team seven team people team. here. Like so, that's a most of a squad here uh, defending. City, like they're so trying to know, hold their 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 logi exactly. point. It looks like they're not wanting the. They're trying to get as much logi as they can, and uh, they're gonna try and make sure none of the U.S. can cut. Cut off their supplies, their supply route. They're, just, they're basically trying to defend themselves that way. And it looks like we have a convoy of trucks heading to the north. <laughs> look at those! Look at all those two two SPGs and two Dishkas. Oh uh, well, it's a it's a Dishka Techie two SP trucks and the Scout car, the BRDM. The car. This like that's a uh, it's a potent combination. <laughs> that the Dishka Techie, it's a. It's pretty, like, it's insanely fast, not that great on the defense, but uh, if it can get in a uh, ambush solution, it is. It, it can definitely lay down some damage. Those SPG trucks take have six shots apiece, that's 12, 12 lat shots, or 12 uh, SPG shots apiece, like, that'll uh, definitely deal with, it'll definitely deal with that uh, striker pretty nicely, and uh, Yeah, as long as they can hit it, Yeah, surprise. as long as they can hit it. That uh, it, the the best thing about these SPG trucks is it doesn't have the drop off that the RPG has. Like you can yeah, shoot this, laser. like you can probably shoot from across the valley without having to uh okay. to angle up if if at all. So we'll see we'll see how deadly these guys can be with it. The uh the real uh the real MVP of this this match could possibly be this here uh this BRDM. It, <laughs> It is a it is a monster. It it has I want to say it has the almost the same kind of speed as the uh, the techie. If not, it's probably about the same as the the Humvee, and it's got the same cannon that the uh, the BTR has. 
It and, has the uh, same armament, or the yeah. same armor, more or less, as a normal Humvee. Yeah. So two lats same take it out. Same armor as a Humvee. Two two lats will take it out. But that that cannon is the same as the BTR, and it, that'll make some quick work. Like if they if they uh, combine the two SVGs and the uh, the BRDM, like that alone. Yeah, that'll take out a striker. Yeah. That'll take out the striker in a matter of seconds. So if they if they can take care of this, uh, the scout car, it's it's gonna be insane. Looks I did like see a question uh, over okay. Twitch real quick. Someone was asking, I didn't catch their name, whether the striker can take damage from bullets. Small arms fire? Absolutely not. 100% impervious to small arms fire. However, 50 cal or dishka fire will damage the striker. So that's the only thing I have to worry about. And of course, the LATs. And I guess mines and IEDs, which are also on the map. We see those in the yellow skulls all over the map. See them quite a few. So uh, we'll see if they come into play. I doubt the striker will get that close, but you never know. All right. And I think at this point, the U.S. have probably figured out that they are not going to find any insurgents in the city here. That everyone is down in the southwest. And I like what the insurgents have done there, putting that hard point in their insurgent really supply. So because if you're assaulting this, I feel like you're going to have to flank it from the north as well as hit it from the east side. You can't just put all your guys and funnel them into that valley because the insurgents are going to have guns in the hills. So you need people in the hills sweeping down there. So they're, you know, preemptively putting a defense up there. I like it. Oh yeah, definitely. Like they, they, you can't come in from that east side. There's a lot of it's a lot of open ground, a lot of road that they got to use. And so you you have to come at this either from two directions or one direction, or two directions, or from like the north, the west, if you're gonna choose a single direction. And uh, I like yeah, they're they're defending. It's it's a two prong, it's a two, two birds with one stone. They're defending their supply route and they're they're basically. They're, this is their their forward observation post right here. Like they're they're there to tell you, hey, they're they're coming from the north. They're coming from uh, you know, they're coming from the mountains. You got to keep eyes this direction. And uh, it's probably they're they're. I like what they're doing there, and I like what they're doing with the vehicles in the north. Looks like they they have the vehicles far away. The uh, the northwest corner of the map, the A3 uh, keypad, and uh, it's they're they're waiting for the U.S. to commit themselves onto this mountain, onto this hard point, and uh, that way they can swing in behind them and uh, just sort of hit them in the back. Maybe get the striker who's who's gonna get a little cocky and try and push and uh, try and push up. Right now they're they're sort of just they're, they're it almost looks like they're unsure where they're supposed to stand because it, it's really hard to tell where they're gonna come from. Maybe shouldn't be in these buildings. I'd, I'd probably put somebody on this, this rooftop. This guy's looking. Yeah. This rooftop and keep them looking east or north. That's, that's it where looks like, most definitely yeah, where they're going to come from. Potentially, we're going to get some contact here. Maybe they're distant through the trees, but they're almost in visual distance of each other here. It was this leading the charge up here. It's a, it's a pretty Merit. tight defense by the insurgency. So these uh, squad four led by uh, Nacho, he's uh, going to... I don't think he's going to make it out of this if he starts taking contact. This is probably where he's going to hard point up. Because his retreat path is uh, it's to the west. To the west, and uh, it's it's definitely open fields that direction. Speaking of squad leaders, before we get too much into the fan, let's uh, go over them and the commanders for this one. As you might have guessed, command for the U.S. is Best Pony. And then we've got Truth Realm, Avan SMA, Server Era 404, and OD Tap for the squad leads. And the insurgents, it's uh, Sightless in command. And then we've got Nacho, Kennet, Silas, and Silent Death. Couple names. A couple so, names. A lot of squad are... leads who have uh, squad led before. Like none of these people are. I think the newest person is Kennet, and even he's he's upwards of like five or six officers at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say he's probably the newest one that I recognize the least. But yeah, okay, it looks like the U.S. here might have spotted insurgents on this hill. On the roof here. Oh yeah, they're they're oh, calling out. They see out. they see that they have security at these uh, large supply points. I don't think they've seen them. They're they're discussing on how they're gonna how they're gonna de deal with the, these contacts. Uh, right now, it's only the squad leads who can really see them, especially because they've got the binoculars. And just Merrick Merrick has a line on this guy's head right now. Oh, it's a squad lead too. He's on the roof. It'll be a slaughter. Right. Oh, that's you tempting. That's so tempting to take. Uh, yes, oh, they're lining up. They're lining up on him. 
But yeah, if you can take out a squad lead and, and then just break it down straight to the uh, the fire team leads just right off the bat, the 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 the, the hit to the, the morale of the squad, you know, when your squad lead was the first person to go out, like, is, is just big. And uh, you, you gotta hope that the fire team just steps up and takes yeah, yeah. command of these guys and keeps them doing what needs to get done. Because he has comms. Okay. Oh, they're, they're gonna execute the squad leader here first. And he's got yeah, a scout like, behind him. <laughs> so it's a bold move having both both binoculars on the same room. That may not have been the wisest choice, but looking at this compound, I don't think there's any other place they could have. <laughs> but they're, they're both looking. They're, they're looking east. They're looking south. Nobody's looked north. From, I've been sitting here maybe like a yeah. minute or two, but nobody has looked north north once, and that, that may be their downfall. Delta sober. Alright, right, they're gonna they're gonna start lining it up right here. They got these guys lined up. Yeah, those will be your next objective. Be advised though, you're moving into enemy territory at that point too, so be ready for some contact. Well, they might be bringing three up before they engage. I don't know what the scout is looking at. Looks like they're, oh, the scouts oh, are starting to look north. The scouts may see this. The scout may yeah. see this, this fire team that, that just finished crossing the road. He stopped moving. God, this is. Oh. Yeah, we'll is like, I want to shoot so bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two heads just like lined up. He is definitely stopped moving. Some the strikers just started shooting. Striker fired on something. Striker just team killed somebody. Well, Truth round. That, that contact may not have been enemy contact. <laughs> that, that's, oh, here we go, they're firing. Uh, oh, squad lead gets squad lead dropped. Down, squad lead down. Scout down. Both of their... Uh, both sets of binoculars are down. That's two people down for the squad almost right off the bat. We'll see if the squad can uh, can uh, recover and, and figure out what needs to get done. Like, I don't know if they know where the shots came from. They're looking around. They got a couple guys looking to the north. They yeah, put on more than a few yeah. shots. I'm sure they know where that those yeah. were coming from. If you have ears, you should have been able to figure that one out. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six left in there. They do have a squad in the hills just south of, or a fire team in the hills just south of them to help out. Here we go, these guys getting in close. Turtle guy. Oh, good GL kill. Great GL. Two contact down on the resupply. This squad has lost almost half of its members in a matter of like seconds, like minute tops. And this squad is being encircled. They've got contacts on the north, they've got contacts on the uh, southeast, contacts on the northwest. Like, there's no way out of this. They've got to hold their position and hope they come into these rooms to finish playing them out. If, Which they will. Yeah. They, they, sh they should. Or, well, it, it all depends on how Pony wants to, 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 to do this. Does he want to just bypass them? Like, if they're not going to cause them any problems, why why waste the men to go in there and, and kill them when you can just push on, hope your rear security can pick them off as they try and come up behind you? Uh, oh, US, U.S. loses one. This guy in the second story building is finding targets. Uh, DC, DLC clever. DLC clever. Yeah, he's been taking some nice shots. Uh, Trident. Oh, tap goes ODT down. Tap. Booty tap goes down. Squad lead trying to rush in there himself. The, these insurgents have started uh, tossing their nades over the edge and they're, they're hurting people. They've taken out one one US but at the loss of four insurgents so far. We'll see if they can uh, finish sweeping it out with taking too many more casualties. Their GLs are on, on point. The, yeah, the, these GLs are on point. They t they just took out DLC Clever on that second floor, and it looks like the uh, Pony is telling them to commit. Pony's telling them to commit to this clear. Oh, oh GLs are clearing it out. down as he goes in. Who was this? Just... It's oh, down to two insurgents got... left holding this. Oh, 
that's your orb, because it'll be proceeding directly fucking south. Uh, yeah, directly south. It's two poor guys. Fucking cash marker on your map. One hiding in the corner. We've got Rose Dragon corner. Eliander in here, holding, trying to hold out for uh, like, the like, last little bit. Commit to it. Uh, you only have your people there, right? Looks now. like the just, just go the one who Rose Dragon just took out one as he ran in, and it looks like that that stalled their approach. Like that, the, the the US are not trying to come right, in from this are, direction anymore. And uh, he, but Rose Dragon has a great angle. It looks like he wants to get out and beat. U.S. are calling out, calling for where the contact's at, you know, just trying to constantly communicate. I don't think they know exactly where Rose Dragon is or Aleander. They're more, they're more, uh, they're, they're really worried about this guy in the second building. I don't think they realize Clever got, uh, knocked out. They're thinking he's, uh, still oh, up here. Oh, there's a whole fire team coming in from the other side. We'll see, Rose Dragon's we pushing out. A squad and a half coming in to clear this compound. He sees him. Oh, Rose Dragon misses his shots and uh, gets wiped out by three three sets of rifles aimed at him. So there's one insurgent left here. Gets one. Right. Oh, he gets oh. dropped. All right, compound clear. Who was that? Merrick. Yep. That's Good the contact. Group. They pushed. They pushed in. Yeah, that's great combined arms right there. You push in after the GL. Like, you don't give the insurgent any time to bandage or even think. I'm, I'm calling easy as you use, you use the, uh, the violence of action. You, you just, I mean, yeah, you, like you always have to use cool everything that you've got. So we still so, have the wolf pack in the northwest waiting for that striker to commit. And that's a that. whole insurgency squad down, though. We'll see if that was worth it. There's an insurgency. And an insurgent squad right, for, I believe, like four or five US. Looks so like five. They're, they're yeah. out. Yeah. They're, the US are, are up a couple couple kills so far. And, uh, but th that, hopefully, as long as the insurgents were communicating, they have that information. They have the information that the US are on the north and they can they can adjust accordingly. Get online over here. We'll, uh, we'll see if it's it's probably pretty hard to uh, tell numbers, but if they were counting the, the angles of the GL, I'd have I'd have called out two squads just because you, you got GL from the the east and you had GL from the west. Like that's don't push that's two that's two squads worth. Like you're not gonna put your GLs away from your squad most likely. We're going west. And, uh, but we'll see if they, uh, they were able to get out any of that information. I believe Rose Dragon was a, was a fire team lead. He had the, he had the uh, the 4, 4L mark. So, uh, you, we'll see. Get over here, create a line. Alright, so we got 25 minutes left on this map. <laughs> Look at these, uh, emplacements and, uh, defenses that the insurgents are building here. Triple high sandbags. Little kill boxes all over the place in here. Southwest, so if you want to go more west, we'll see if they actually get to use those. A dishka inside a building. I don't know how useful this is. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Dishka on a night map is a, is a double edged sword on the outside. Like, you, you put it on the mound, and you're like, yes, no, this is going to be great. But tracers work Tracers work both ways. Like, you, you set it on the mound, it can have great, great sight, like, great angles. But they can just follow those back, and if, if it's not the shield dishka, you're almost most definitely dead. But uh, uh, yeah, I think that's probably that's probably their plan is you just you, you park on that dishka and you just let them come to you. You let them try, you let them forget their their spacing, training, and everything they learned in SOTs. Because the later the game go. goes on, the the less less people try and think about all that the things they learn basic when it comes to like spacing and. We got yeah, another insurgent fire team that's about to get contact with this entire northern element here. It's four men versus a squad and a half. I don't think the insurgents see them. They're, the they've got a hill right in front of them. them. Yeah, the only person who could see them is Zan Kragor, and he's about to walk up to this murder hole. Wow! Oh, it just gets mowed down. It's like Zan Kragor was sleeping, it looks like. It was, uh... I don't even think he got shot. I don't think the U.S. guy nope. got shot. Two GLs through that murder hole, neither of them make it through. And one actually, that was, he got hurt by the friendly that he has to back up and bandage. Do we ever get either compound? But and in the meantime, team. the U.S. are streaming into the area from the hill. 
on the east side. Oh, this Dishka. They've got Dishka a Dishka in this up. compound opening up on these guys running down the hill. Crows are turning fire from the hill. Crows immediately sees it and starts laying down fire. This Dishka's in a really nice spot to watch that upper hill. It doesn't look like they can return that accurate of a fire. He's just got to follow those tracers back. Now he's reloading, though. Oh, we'll see if that's he can, a, he can get that's this That's scary. Off. Reloading under fire without a shield. Whew. Looks like they got one. Uh, meanwhile, while the U.S. is, is trying to commit over here on the uh, the north, committing onto the uh, south, this uh, uh vehicle, vehicle yeah, the wolf pack is moving. The vehicle wolf pack is moving. We'll see which direction they decide to uh, come up on. I don't think they know where the uh, I don't think they know where the striker is. They 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 may have an idea that it's to the east, but they know it. And they have to know it's far off. They're definitely not going to commit that uh, anywhere close. But it's moving. It's moving east. It looks like it's going to move through the city. They're moving. They're picking up the speed. I think they I think they know where they want to go now. Shkutecki is taking point by a good 100 meters. Unless that, uh, here comes the armored column, or armored column, the light skinned column coming down. But if they don't get into the action soon, um, I feel like the insurgents are just gonna get overrun here. We gotta push. Yes, they definitely need the fire over there. Yeah, yeah, no, southwest. Best Pony's really pushing the pace here because he knows that he doesn't have a lot of time. 21 minutes. These Techie squads are splitting up. You got the SPTs and the District Tech moving to the east. Uh, on the north side, and then you've got the BRDM and another district tech moving straight through the center of the town. We'll see if they can deal with that, uh... That striker. Oof. A grenade went off right next to these guys. Luckily that sandbag caught it. U.S. is pushing... Insanely yeah, hard into pushing this compound smoke. hard. They've pushing already taken out. Compounds. Yeah, they've already taken out most people inside this uh, the northern compound. I think there's only three left in there. There's one in the southwest corner. Oh, and they're using great, using their grenades insanely well. Great job on the U.S. for uh, for using their grenades and. Uh, That's a drum beat of grenades there. there. <laughs> right. the they're making a play guy in this resupply. That's that's what they're gotta be doing. Not INS recently, I gotta be making a play for the extra effort. Right, I'll go. Clear this compound. That, that vehicle comp, uh, column is going all the way through US Main. Very, very bold move. It's a long path. They've gotta know they're losing people fast. Yeah, here. I mean, they've got going? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at least 10 people committed in those vehicles up there. Go in, go in. I guess they could be one manning them, but there's there's only ten people left on the actual objective. Also, there. Uh, I need. Well, a, I'm gonna look to see if they've got. Uh, Sightless is still up. The U.S. or the uh, the insurgent commander is still up. So they they still have to stay here and, and yeah, that G3 is still still alive and ready to shoot. There's 2v2 Thanks, in the southern, southern compound. Right, uh, southern eastern compound. I got him, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One left up here. I got shot underneath. Muff. Good old muffler takes him out underneath the sandbag. Alright, so that place is clear. So they've one got of the, uh, one, three compound one and a half compounds, compounds left. And then after that, if we still don't get a fucking HPT kill notification, yeah, go looks like there's a single fire. US against two insurgents in this uh, southeast compound. There's we'll two insurgents down here. Let's we'll see. They're watching both doors. We gotta assume they're communicating. They've got an AR watching one door, and you've got a just a regular AK watching the other. We'll see if this. Uh, we'll see if they can. Uh, they can do this. 
I don't think this 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 uh, U.S. I don't. Pony's been saying that Squad Two is a uh, squad leaderless, and I'm gonna assume that is this guy right here. He's the probably the last guy for his squad. Looks like he's being reinforced by another though. We'll see if they can uh, push in aggressively. They know one of their buddies just went down in there. They have to know that there's somebody in here. They should probably throw a grenade into this room. But uh, with the amount of grenades we've heard. With the amount of yeah, grenades that might have been uh, all the grenades. Yeah, that may be everything sure they got. Noble soup ass. I like to switch to first person, different players. Do you have a mod for this? No, that is our uh, man behind the scenes, Pen, with his little uh, broadcasting system, or basically he's the commander of ceremonies. Everyone's broadcasting to him, and he picks what you see. And it is uh, it's just getting better and better. He's he's evolving, and it's just it's no end in sight to to how these teams are gonna become. US he's pushing out. This this insurgent is pushing out into the U.S. That was a bold move. <laughs> very very bold move. He had the defenders advantage. Like he was sitting there. He had that corner on lock, and he just he peeked for information. Like it's it's a problem some people have. Like you just like I yep. need to see what's going on. I need. I just need to know, and right, then you the just market. walk into something. You gotta be patient. Yeah, you just gotta be patient. Lord is watching. 17 minutes. Lord is uh, being brought. Oh, he got sandwiched by Leprechaun and S. Klein. Just, I, there's nothing he could do. We got six, five insurgents left. Yep. The uh, U.S. have finished clearing out this last, uh, this second to last compound. There's one compound left with five insurgents watching. Like, Here comes the wolf pack. Surrounded like by US. This wolf pack is coming, but oh. it may be too little too late. Like, I don't know how much more they can do unless they're just straight planning to abandon this, this objective and, and get them out their, uh, their exfil location. I don't know. It's, uh, it's an interesting move. But Let's right see if now this, it is five inside 50 cal dishka. Or what, no, whatever caliber it is. Like, it's seriously, the barrel is three feet away from where it's aiming. And there's 10 US outside the door. <laughs> it's a uh, five versus 10. <laughs> They've got defenders advantage. They they have to come into them. They just can't pee. They have to, they have to let them come. They have to, they have to let the, the US come to them. That, that's it. That's, that's the only way they're going to oh, get yeah. through this. And they got to hope that the US is out of GL's anger. The US is tossing. Looks like every smoke they've got into this compound, though. Just trying to uh, to find some way in. You can you, you just hear the, the command comms. Uh, Down to four. Figuring out, no, like, trying five. to figure out the best way to get in this. Yeah. He looks like he just got tagged. I don't know if there's a medic up. They're gonna shit their bricks when the uh, this dishka starts firing. Oh, yeah. Point blank. They, they've still got a GL. That GL just put a shot in and missed. But if he can land a yeah. shot through this window, they can get a good one through that wall there. Into that room, rather. They're calling techies. Tony, here's the techies. See if they can deal with those. Crispy lighting up the BRDM. Looks like the insurgents lost one techie over here. Two techies. Oh, they were trying to. Is okay. Yeah, they tried to flank yeah. the striker. I but didn't. Looks, looks like they didn't know quite where it was. Yeah, <laughs> there's a uh, an SPG techie here with a single person. The techies, the techie is open, but the Blaster Warriors is pushing up on him now, and uh, Blaster Warriors goes down. I don't think they knew where that striker was, and they just rolled within right like 25 it. meters of it, just just right it right past it. So and the back at the compound. It's down to three insurgents and four US. So they've done a great job holding this. Can't see. Can't see. I don't have my. I don't have my They they've spotted. The BRM is is taking people out. It's uh. It's hurting them. I don't think that that BRM doesn't know where this uh, striker is. That uh. Yep. Nope. Striker knows where the BRM is. Striker took. BRM is down. 
but is also being engaged by the other dish techie. Other dish techie just got uh, just destroyed, and then the SVG techie got decrewed by uh, security on the hill to the uh, south of the objective. Four they, uh, but now the, the objective has on that. The HVT is killed, the radio is down, so now the US are done, they've got to get out, which is where the fight is now. <laughs> the, all, all techies have been destroyed. All, so the striker took out the BRDM and the a Dishka techie. Uh, the striker took out two Dishka techies, two BRDM techies. Or Ooh. two, uh... It's not an RPG go techie, out there. The Dishka techie and the BRDM, while the other SVD techie was decrewed by the striker security. That was, uh, the vehicles were less less than effective, I'd say. They took a, a, a long flank and they just ran into the security that the striker had. Great the U.S. have 12 them. minutes. That was a wide RPG. There's a single, Is single it just one guy left over here? person over here. Yeah, one person. It was the, uh, the lat. There's... So we've this got a group of four U.S. out to the west, retreating from the compound. They've got two insurgents following them. And you've got one insurgent on the east, and it's Nuke Dukem, single person. <laughs> Truthrum is calling out that there is more than one U.S. over here. Pony says there's one U.S. on the east. Truth, Truth is saying that there's more, but there is in fact a single, single insurgent on this end. Uh, just, just watching, wondering what he should do. He's used both of his lat shots. He's got a, uh, this is a frag round. Yep, that's a frag round loaded. Hoping to just take out as many as he can before he goes down. I don't know if he knows how many people there are. And, uh, his best area. option, his only option at this point, might be to somehow get onto that SPG and take a shot at that striker. Because right now, I oh, nope, never mind. There, there goes that. the SPG. <laughs> I think the insurgents have no tools against that that striker at this point. Yeah, that striker. Unless it is, runs over uh, one of their mines, which just is about probably going to happen. Yep, there's. There's no mo no way they're gonna get the mines. They spotted Nuke Duke and Nuke Duke has been shot. It's on the low wall, I'm shooting at him right now. It's one guy. Oh, he takes a shot. Well, I he's dead. Him. And he's down. And that, that was best pony they shot. That was the best pony they shot. He's he's hoping he can get uh he can ban some though. Took a frag round of the face. He took a frag round of the face and it it was still unsuccessful. So uh, the final US command. Two, three, Nuke Dukem. I feel like oh he's no, respawned. He's just waiting to go back yeah. into uh, admin camp. Yeah. So the final two is Swine and Andrew Rock yep, chasing in this uh, fire team, who is regrouping with the main U.S. force, which includes a striker. So pretty much insurgents. This is pretty much a good game for the U.S. I think they're going to let them duke it out since the insurgents are actually in pretty good pursuit here. But they're probably going to get up there and run into no. a brick wall and knock themselves out. I don't know off. if they Let's have any... Uh, let me just double check. Let's see if they have... Uh, is any one of these people a uh, scout or a, uh, a lat? don't think so. No, Swine is the uh, scout and Andy is just a rifleman. They're, they're both so doing well in terms of kills. But uh, theory, they have no tools. He could sneak up and plant his IED and <laughs> blow up the striker. In theory, yes. It's still but possible, we'll... technically, for the insurgents to win. As if he hadn't placed his <laughs> IED on the uh, southwest already. That's There's a true. lot of un unexploded ordnance on the uh, the objective, the, uh, the cache. We'll see if he, he they can pull off some kind of miracle. It's two versus four, five, six. Ten? Ten? Two versus ten? I mean, Close I've seen it. I've seen you you pull off an, an eight kill kill streak eight. before. Eight. I had thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Sorry, thirteen. Yeah. So it is. It <laughs> Come is on, possible. get it right. <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> we'll see if they can do something along those lines. But then then they've got that strike to contend with, and uh, yeah, that's that tough. doesn't make that that makes it a whole lot harder. Right. You can't even sneak up on that and uh, drop a grenade in its tailpipe or anything. 
game no. soon. Uh, that the maybe one day. Well, maybe one day with localized damage, you can you know, shoot the tires out or something. Or at least track it, yeah. Or tire yeah, it. track it or something. But uh, for now, you need those lats. Those lats have to stay alive. Those scouts have to put their minds in a, a position that, that you, you, you want the striker to go over. I don't think the striker would have gotten... If, if Knowing Pony, he's not going to want to put that striker anywhere near the objective. So you probably should have maybe thought about uh, taking one of the motorcycles or something in and you know, just getting the striker, maybe even inside the inside the town. Actually, well, I feel like you know, they had the right plan so to try to take the striker out. They just didn't execute it very well. Um, and yeah. the striker did a good job hiding. Uh, Moose, this I is round two bolts, one. Though. Two rounds the end of round one. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We're reaching the end of round one. Seven yeah. minutes, seven and a half yeah. left yeah. of uh, round one. Yeah, go ahead. Pony did a great job corralling his dudes and being like, we got to move, we got to move aggression get in there push 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 because he knew it was a very limited time scenario and that's just unfortunately that's based on the map that this layer only rolls for an hour and we don't have control over that at this point so here we go the final contact these two guys these two brave striker's doing a good job putting itself up against the wall minimizing the chance maybe not they probably don't know this hole, this hole in the wall, Perfect. but they they had the right idea of uh, putting it up against the wall Perfect. and just minimizing the chance that a, that a lucky lad shot would just nail it in the Here side. Here we go, contact so out. A little bit of extra ammo. Oh. Insurgents yep. take out one. Wounds another. He's reloading. Grenade's coming out. It's short. Second grenade out is long. Third grenade's a smoke. Oh, oh. it wasn't long. It was good. Got him with the... That's good game. So that was round one there. Good action, good driving of the pace. Great job by the uh, U.S. to keep that aggression up and just to, to push yeah, through. A lot. Good they job. they definitely could have gotten hung great, up great on uh, clearing those, uh, those buildings. Good stuff. Like they they uh, the INS were pretty dug in. Maybe a, a few four choices on some of those insurgents parts you have to push out and get some information. They probably should have just sat in those buildings and waited for them. You, you know, use the defenders' advantage. Yep. For yourself. It's hard to be but, disciplined. Uh, Everybody says yeah, it's, it's it's hard sometimes. You're, Wait, you're the only person there. Yeah. You may be one of the like one of two oh, inside your own squad it. comms. Like you don't have command comms. You're basically you're deaf when it comes to like what's going on in the area, and you just sometimes you just need to know, or you feel like you need to know, and uh, you, you pay for it in the end. Alrighty. Well, we will take a quick break here, regroup for round two of Operation Nightmare. Be back in a few minutes. I think it'll be a quick one.